indeed we must increase the number and the role of our women as well as provide peacekeeping operations with our best troops, first quality equipment and appropriate enables. This is the way to enhance Monday's delivery to the protection of a civilian as well as the safety and security of our peacekeepers and humanitarian actors. In this respect, we also support the crucial role that environmental impact management of United Nations peace missions needs to play. Female peacekeepers provide a wider perspective and can cross social and cultural boundaries. Thus, building trust with local populations, particularly with women and children, who are often the main victims of violence in conflicts. To make sure that peacekeepers do not fail the people that they have to protect, we need to prevent and eradicate the scourge of sexual exploitation and abuse that sadly affects even the United Nations peacekeeping missions. I conclude, I therefore encourage every country to join the circle of leadership created by the Secretary General and to take concrete measures to prevent and combat sexual exploitation and abuse, to hold perpetrators accountable and to support the victims. I pay the most respectful tribute to all the men and the women who are serving the values of the United Nations in the field and to bring peace and security where it is most needed and to those, to those who have lost their lives doing so over the years. Many thanks. I thank His Excellency Mr. Giuseppe Conte, and I now give the floor to His Excellency Mr. K.P. Sharma Oli, Prime Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Nepal.